How you doing friends? Welcome back to Back at the Ranch. It's my chill spot at home. Hope you like it. You know, we had a nice little rain shower a while ago. When, I think it was like in the 80s, earlier in the day. Nice 70 degrees right now. A little humid, but comfortable. Perfect to turn on the fire. Tiki torches, the water. Just chill out for a while. So, I'm gonna empty my pockets here a little bit. PDC, by the way. Keys. <laughs> Carry a lighter everywhere I go. Let's see, let, let, I already started. Might as well show everybody what the EDC is. Got my USB so I can transfer files from my phone. My phone, of course, that's gonna go on mute. We don't wanna be interrupted here. What else we got? wallet <sighs> getting older these things are the best special thanks to my wife for getting them for me everywhere I go I'm always squinting my eyes trying to figure out what does that say what does that say so got some reading glasses for up close which I might actually use those in a bit we'll see what else do I carry oh yeah flashlight never know when you're gonna need one of those you should carry other things but there's one I'm not carrying right now there's a good reason for it but I also got I always have a knife with me today I've got uh, this custom-made baby that a good friend of mine made for me give you a little review of that later on but in a nutshell Handmade, got some nine millimeter casings in there that uh, I fired out of the ranch. And the uh, handle, the grip here, the scales, if you will, those are actually made of mesquite from the ranch. So carry that, I'll put that one over here just in case the dog or the kids walk around. And I got a nice sheath too, but not taking that one off. So that's one of my words, so I'm sure you guys have caught it. Um, you know, thanks for hanging out with me this far. You know, it's been how many videos now? Gosh, this is number five, I think. Last couple of videos, you know, took you guys on a turkey hunt. You guys uh, got to watch me make a, a good ranch cactus breakfast. If you don't know what that is, go back and check the last video. Um, got to see the ranch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little overview of the ranch, a little bit of history of Texas, South Texas. And uh, of course we had a a whiskey review on the very first um, very first video there where I introduced myself what the channel is all about yeah it's it's been it's been an adventure I'll tell you I never thought I'd be doing something like this but I'm, I'm really enjoying it and uh, it's fun hey Betty how you doing come here girl this is Betty she's our rescue my daughter rescued her she is gosh eight year old now great dog but don't let other dogs get around her when she's eating because they they well not they she <laughs> it's a little aggressive she's uh, very defensive of her food i think she got starved a lot when she was uh, with her pre previous owner so she's really uh, protective of her food but uh, yeah so back at the ranch um turkey hunting i have to apologize you know uh, I'm, i haven't seen the comments yet it actually hasn't posted believe it or not <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead of myself in videos here, so that video hasn't posted yet, but when you do uh, watch that video, I'm sorry. I, I know it's going to upset a lot of you, that that one part in there, it's, uh, you know, trials and tribulations of a, of a vlogger, and uh, hopefully it won't happen again. I've learned, learned my lesson. But uh, I got some good news, though. As a matter of fact, you know what? I, I am going to need this knife out. Um... Didn't get turkey while turkey hunting, but I did get a turkey. Wild turkey, that is. Rare breed. Barrel proof. So I got a, another whiskey review for you. This is a wonderful whiskey, at least so I've heard. I've never tried this one, so you're going to explore this one with me. The last one that you guys saw, uh, I had tried it before, but, you know, I wanted to experience it with you guys, for you guys. So... Let's pop this one open, actually. It's 
never been open. It didn't work. There we go. Okay, let me throw this to the trash can over there. Be right back. Okay. Oh, look at that. Magnetic like magnetic light. Let's put that back away. So, rare breed turkey. Wild Turkey 101. Rare breed uh, rye. I love those. You know, that, that 101's a really good daily drinker. Very inexpensive. This one's a little bit on the higher end. I don't remember off the top of my head how much I paid for it. I want to say it's about 60 bucks, give or take. It's been a while. Probably had this put away for a good, say, two months now. So it's been a while since I bought this. Um, but yeah, I want to experience it with you guys for the first time. So let me get that pour right there for you. Hopefully it doesn't light up with a fire. Oh, not a good idea. That fire came right to it. Let's do that over here. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, I can smell it already. There, I'll, I'll put that right there for you guys. This is more my style. That last one I had, good, enjoyable, Great Coast. If you didn't see the Great Coast review, go back to video number one. Great Coast, Irish whiskey, very good for uh, beginners, those just getting into whiskey. It's a low proof. This one on the other hand, barrel proof. Gosh, what is the proof on this? Hey, I said I was gonna use those glasses. But let's put those on. <laughs> let's see here. What do we got? 58.4% alcohol, which makes that a 116 proof bourbon. That's gonna have some kit. That's that's gonna be good. So I like the stronger uh whiskeys in general just because to me they have more flavor and drink them a little bit slower I enjoy them a little bit more so but this you know it's kind of hard to tell the color just because I got the fire here it makes it a little bit uh, more of an amber than it really is but it's got a nice dark color good legs on it oh definitely get the oak on that one actually picking up a little bit of cinnamon surprisingly usually I get that out of rice but not bourbons a little fruity and you know what that that fire actually that that warmth is coming towards me so when I breathe in I'm breathing in the warmth making it a little bit difficult to get the the scents for you but I tell you what that smells great I'm actually getting fruits out of that a little bit of a apple scent like a sour apple which by the way whiskey's different for everyone what I smell you might not smell it's all gonna be in your head in your mind you know what does that smell remind you of and I used to love to eat those sour green apples I haven't had them in a long time but that's what it's reminding me of for some reason and for some reason I'm getting cinnamon on it too so let's go in for a sip oh yeah winds kicking up a bit man that is that is spicy I wonder I don't know what the mash bill is on that but it's probably high rye definitely getting like a, a spice black pepper spice kind of like the last one that I had but that spice is also like a almost a cinnamon not cinnamon though it's something else can't place it let's go for that second one mmm now that is one tasty bourbon. Wow. Get a little bit of licorice on that, on the back end. I like that. So yeah, this is, uh, this is my chill out spot. Um, 
don't get to sit out here too often but when I do it's usually uh, with some whiskey fires always on water is always going sometimes I'll have a good cigar fortunately no cigars today so don't get to review one of those but I might get one for you in the future but, you know back at the ranch I've really enjoyed this journey you know it's a uh, short so far I'm hoping that it is a long journey I really hope that uh, these vlogs get better and better and I think one of the ways that they're gonna get better is if you let me know what you think of them you know I've got a, a bunch of subscribers now why well, I say a bunch I mean I had zero so I think we're up to like 30 at this point and you know we're still only on the first video really and a couple of comments are coming in. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of them are friends and family members. So I started spreading the word with, with people I know. And I really appreciate everybody that has commented, especially on YouTube. Um, you know, when you comment there, it does help the algorithm, as they say. And it's going to help uh, that video get shown out to others that might not know who I am. And um, get me out there again. You can probably tell just the way I talk. I'm kind of a calm and quiet guy. You know, I, I really don't put, put myself out there. Um, I've never been much of a public speaker, you know, in big crowds. Ironically though, my full-time job does require that I talk to a lot of people at the same time and do presentations and stuff. So it's, it's usually a little tough for me. And uh, this is a little bit easier because I'm talking at the camera, but I know that you guys are right behind that camera and uh it gets nerve-wracking sometimes let me tell you but yeah as i was saying you know i'd really appreciate comments if you want to send me private messages or emails by the way the email is uh back at the ranch stx at gmail.com let me know what you think let me know what you like to see um have you seen something that you already like that you like to see repeated again uh is there anything that you're interested in seeing that maybe i haven't even thought of any of those ideas you know uh, the this channel's only gonna grow if I get that input I can keep making videos over and over and over and if you guys don't like what you're seeing you're probably not seeing it right so leave those comments so I'll, I'll drop that one but uh, yeah you know I was talking to a couple of friends of mine as I mentioned before I got a couple of friends that uh, have leases uh, another buddy of mine that's gonna possibly start his own hunting channel uh, he's really a, a big into archery and something just hit me on the head there we go um, so yeah Bert, Albert if you're out there listening I'm looking forward to seeing your videos hopefully we can make it out to the ranch and get ourselves a hog with that nice bow that you got um, so we'll be you know talking to Albert he's a good friend of mine maybe we'll take a look at his bow at, at his setup you know he does some uh, archery competitions here locally uh, he does 3D shooting, uh, he does a lot of hunting, and he's got some stuff to share as well. And we've got a couple other buddies, another buddy of mine that uh, helps out at the ranch. Uh, he just recently bought a, a new truck tent, so he just got that in today. I told him, man, don't open it yet, I'd love to record an unboxing. Of course, I'm sure he's already opened it and played around with it, but uh, we'll be taking that out to the ranch the next time we go, next time he goes with me, which might be in a week or two. And we'll review that tent for you as well. So I want to say he paid like two to three hundred dollars for it. Might have been a little bit less. Uh, nice little setup that goes in the bed of a truck. Something that's easy to throw into the back seat. And we'll see what it's all about. You know, is it good? Is it worth buying? Would he buy it again? Don't know. We'll find out. Got another buddy, Rick. Ah, Rick's a guy, man. That he he likes the nice things. So when you see his tent, you probably actually you probably already seen it. In a uh, in the ranch overview you saw our campsite you saw a nice big overlanding uh rig there that's rick's uh, so we can do a nice review i think it's an opus uh, so we can look at his opus and see what it's all about what it's got you know all the gizmos and gadgets that he's got on that as well you know uh, we take generators out there we can review generators for you we can review flashlights lighters knives uh, we can review firearms as well uh, the only thing with firearms though is we have what we have you know, we, we don't buy firearms on a regular basis, but we can show you what we've got, what we like, why we like it. 
Uh, my buddy Pablo is actually a reloader as well. I know we really can't talk about reloading or, or showing uh, reloading on YouTube, but we can talk about the pros and cons. We can talk about what he uses, what he likes and doesn't like, and why, you know. So a lot of cool things that we can do. Again, sky's the limit. And the only way we're going to get there, comments. Oh, gosh, I said I wasn't going to talk about that anymore. But, yeah, comments. So like, subscribe, leave those comments. So let's let's go back in for number three. You know, as I mentioned that first video, I like to take a sip. Get that initial flavor. Take a second sip immediately afterwards because it usually is different. Let the oils and everything, you know, settle in the mouth here. The tongue, my palate, everything's adjusted, acclimated. So this next one's probably not going to be as hot as the first one. But I guarantee you that flavor is going to be different. Now I'm getting the sweet. Almost like a brown sugar scent out of it as well. Something's buzzing. Don't know what it is. If you hear that, I apologize. I actually went and turned off the AC unit to the house because, man, that thing was blowing. Hmm. Not as hot as the first time or the second, but definitely that 116 proof. I think it's 116 proof. You feel it. That is good. Stays with you. I did get that licorice again. I get a little bit of that brown sugar, maybe because I smelled it. Now I'm tasting it. It is sweet compared to other whiskeys like a scotch or even an Irish like I tried last time. This is more of the sweeter side. You know, um, bourbons are usually primarily uh, corn, corn based. So you get that corn sweetness out of it. It doesn't taste like corn, at least not to me it doesn't. But it's good. I like it. This is definitely one that you want on your shelf. It's one to keep on the shelf for that special time. It's a Friday drinker. That's what it is. It's a Friday drinker. So we're posting this on Friday. So we'll say today's Friday. <laughs> it's not. As a matter of fact, now that I said that, uh, depending on how many subscribers that we get, if this channel really starts to grow, I might change the videos to twice per week we'll do whiskey Wednesdays how does that sound you know I'm gonna do that immediately uh, I don't have the time for it yet and you know with only 25 subscribers I don't know that it's really worth it it's from from a times perspective not that you guys are not worth it but it takes time to put these videos together uh, for example the hunting video that you should have already seen by now the, the turkey one uh, not only the time shooting the video, which probably took about five hours or so, but just getting to our ranch. You know, I, I live about two hours south of our family ranch. And when we're back at the ranch, we drive two hours to get there, you know, and then two hours to get back home. So four hours of driving, five hours of video. That one was probably about eight hours of editing just to get it right. You know, just the, the different takes, the, the, finding the right music for it. Uh, which, by the way, the music, I'm going to start linking the uh, the artists or mentioning the artists in, in the comments if I haven't already done so. Um, there's a lot of great artists out there that put out free music, royalty free music. So all the music that you're hearing either came from uh, Yahoo Studio, not Yahoo Studio, I'm sorry, scratch that. Uh, YouTube's uh, studio library or audio library. Well, a bunch of great music there that's uh, free to use for creatives. And there's a couple of other websites that I use as well where they put their music out and it, it's free to use. You know, it is copyrighted material, but it is authorized to use on YouTube. So I'll link them here um, if I haven't already done so, like I said. So, but yeah, you know, this video is going on about 20 minutes now. I'm looking over at my tablet that I used to hit record. And um, I think now is as good a time than any to wrap this one up. But I tell you what, rare breed wild turkey barrel proof that's when you want so 
So thanks again. I really appreciate you guys coming by. And I'll see you next time when we're back at the ranch. Enjoy. Hmm.